Hey there, Robert Moody with Marine Max here in Lake Louisville at our Marine Max Dallas Yacht Center office or floating office on the water where we keep the big boats. And speaking about big boats, this is Sea Ray's 370 Sundancer, the first one we've had in North Texas, their stern drive edition, which for us, that's kind of what we like here because we don't have sandbars to go to. Uh, this is kind of our destination. Uh, so I'm gonna start off here in the back of the boat where we hang out a lot in North Texas. So There's a back end of our boats once we get anchored out in our cove. You see they got this seat it's in a uh, rear facing mode right now. You can lay it down flat and kick it up, keep everybody inside the cockpit. But once we're anchored out, I'm underneath shade. Massive swim platform back here on the back. And look at these steps. Talk about easy for anybody getting in and out of the water. Look how wide those are too. And it's two levels right there at the water and one a little bit lower. So easy access in and out of the boat, the steps here, a lot of shade. Let's go look inside the cockpit. Now we're in the cockpit of 370 Sundancer. Uh, great seating all the way around. I'm standing over here by the little entertainment center where we're gonna have a Kenya grill, awesome grills, a pull-out style refrigerator with a freezer tray that pulls out on the top too. Everything you need to entertain everybody out here in the back of the boat. Uh, a little cockpit sink, trash can storage. Great wraparound seating facing each other under the shade. Great sound system, awesome sound system in the 370 Sundancer. Very impressed with it, with all the zone control and just the quality of sound is amazing. Really cool skylights up above. This one opens up here if you want to see the stars. Right now it's hot. We all want the shade on it. With the push of a button, you can do either one. Um, we are in a coupe, so we got glass on the front and the sides, but what helps for that is airflow. I can drop down that walkthrough door, open up the skylight. Also, there's two wing doors on each side. That'll draw air in. There's also an opening vent here when I'm running, that'll draw air in. And if that's still not enough, we'll just turn on the cockpit AC system. So I got some big vents here. I got some big vents on the dash. Create some airflow inside the cockpit. Reverse cycle heat too. So in the wintertime, put the camp canvas on it and close it all in. So great use of space back here in the cockpit. Again, for us, this is where we hang out a lot. Um, the sea deck on the floor looks really amazing. I love the new design they've done on the seats, the Sea Ray. And the color lighting. We got it on one color, but it's multiple colors on the lighting. So uh, a, a great dash control here. With two Simrad screens on here, you can see anything and everything you want on it. It does have digital switching on the boat. We're gonna work that on here. That's the screen I got now with my lighting, sure shade. Then we got the maps, the Merc Mercury vessel view on here. This boat is powered by the Stern Drive, Merc Cruiser 8.2 liter HO engines. It's 430 horsepower each. So we got the joystick, skyhook, all that easy stuff to make this boat a breeze to dock for anybody in the family. Um, great new style shifters auto trim, making it really easy, auto trim tabs, and with auto trim for the drives, really makes it easy for anybody to get the boat, hop behind the wheel and have fun driving the boat. Great visibility, the lines on this boat, uh, I can see everywhere, um, it's protected, don't have to mess with a lot of canvas, great, great dash, I love the look and feel of it, and it helps to have on a hot day in Texas right now, some AC blowing on the dash too. Double wide helm seat, right now I got the bolster seat up, but double wide, again, the really cool stitching Sea Ray did uh, throughout the boat is really nice. And then on the passenger side, it's another uh, double seat with a flip up bolster. Down below, they even have a pop up uh, footrest if you want to ride here and get some wind in your face with that door to the bow open. Uh, you're getting all that natural airflow um, right on that seat. It's kind of a fun spot to ride in the boat. Let's go up to the bow and take a look there. We're up here on the bow and it's a Sundancer. You normally don't think of bow seating on a Sea Ray Sundancer, but they've done it on these new models. The 320 Sundancer was very popular because of this. So Sea Ray came out with a bigger model 370 Sundancer, but a lot of times people go to the lake here in North Texas to be outside. So look at all the seating up in the bow. There's a shade system we can put up to have shade up here if we need the shade. There's three lean back facing forward seats right there with armrests you got awesome speakers stereo controls cup holders up here if you do want to sit short i like what they did here you can pull up this backrest it'll lock into place and now 
You can sit short facing forward if that's how you want to sit. Great area used for space up on the bow of this 370 Sundancer. Here's what's amazing is we have all that outdoor seating, huge cockpit, huge swim platform area, massive seating up on the bow, but look how much room is down here in this cabin. So even if it's during the day and people want to cool off, look at all the seating, how many people we can get down here, have a snack, cool off, stay on the lake a little bit longer. This makes into a bed. If you do want to sleep on the boat, you hit a button. This piece and this piece will come out together and make this one big long bed up here in the bow. Um, a great little sliding ottoman here, a footrest, uh, got a table there, you can flip it over, padded ottoman on the other side. TV back here, if somebody's had enough heat, they can come down here, sleep, take a nap, cool off, eat. Uh, another great area to hang out on the boat to extend your time on the water with your family. Nice galley. So refrigerator, microwave, uh, no stove down here. They find a lot of people during the day really aren't cooking down in the galley a whole lot. Uh, they got a grill outside, you're going to cook outside, so they made the galley a little bit smaller to give us more seating down here. And that easily converts into a bed. So great room, a lot of natural light, big windows. Let's check out the uh, head. Easy to get to at the bottom of the stairs. So it's just not a wet head, it's got a separate shower. They did a phenomenal job. The countertops, the um, Vessel sink on it, a little wood seat inside the enclosed shower. You got a natural skylight up above. Great job that they did for this uh, head and separate shower. In the mid cabin, again, more seating. This boat may just be used as a day boat all the time, whether you're sitting inside or outside, but that can convert into a bed. So you could sleep four on the boat, two adults here, two adults in the back. They got their own TV, privacy curtain. So really great job, how much room they have and this 37 foot Sundancer with all the seating outside to still have all this cabin down below, quite impressive. Again, I'm Robert Moody with Marine Max. My office out here at Pier 121, with Marine Max Dallas Yacht Center. If you have any questions about this Sea Ray 370 Sundancer or any of our other boats here at Marine Max, please give me a call. Thank you.